Will Putin drop a nuclear bomb on Ukraine? Here's what Americans think. More than half of Americans believe Russia using a nuclear bomb in Ukraine is either a realistic or very realistic scenario, according to an exclusive Newsweek poll. When asked, do you think it is a realistic possibility that Russian President Vladimir Putin may use a nuclear bomb in Ukraine? 14% of eligible US voters said, very realistic. With 44% saying it was, realistic. Another 19% said nuclear use is neither realistic nor unrealistic, whilst just 12% of Americans described it as either unrealistic or very unrealistic. Another 20% said Ukraine should regain all territory lost since 2014, which includes the Crimean Peninsula, before striking a deal with the Kremlin. In addition, 27% of those surveyed said they didn't know. On Wednesday, Russia conducted major nuclear weapons drills, which were described on Russian state television as practice for destroying the USA and formerly Great Britain. The exercises involved Tupolev 2 95MS long-range bombers and a Yars intercontinental ballistic missile, both capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. In a statement, the Russian Defense Ministry said, the event was held in order to test the level of preparedness of the military command and control echelons and the skills of senior and operational personnel in organizing troop command and control. The tasks set out during the drill of the strategic deterrence forces were performed in full. All missiles reached their targets, confirming the rated characteristics. Russian agents spying on HIMARS positions detained in Ukraine, Kiev. The security service of Ukraine says it has captured a Russian agent who had apparently been spying on Ukrainian heavy artillery. On Saturday the SBU posted four photographs to its official Twitter account showing a man being searched by two Ukrainian soldiers. The suspect being interrogated and then SBU agents looking through a phone. They said, the SBU detained a Russian agent who was spying on the positions of HIMARS and long-range M777 howitzers in the southern direction. The United States has given Ukraine 20 HIMARS, multiple launch rocket systems, since the Russian invasion began with another 18 pledged in September. Russian state TV host, Ukraine invasion to become gigantic European war. The pro-Kremlin propagandist's remark was part of his interview with Yevgeny Satanovsky, president of the Institute of the Middle East, who spoke about the war during a recent segment. A clip from the interview was posted to Twitter on Friday by Julia Davis, a columnist at the Daily Beast and creator of the Russian Media Monitor, which added English subtitles to the interview. Satanovsky was giving an assessment of the ongoing invasion of Ukraine, which he described as a holy war before the TV host weighed in and said that he believes Russia is getting into a gigantic European war. Russia's private army choosing numbers over quality amid struggles, UK. Russia's Wagner Group mercenary organization has lowered its standards to prioritize numbers over experience or quality, according to UK officials. Earlier in October Accra, Indian intelligence officials said the Wagner Group had started recruiting convicts with diseases including HIV and Hepatitis C. They added that Russia's private army were marking these soldiers with bracelets on their hands. Referencing the reports in its Sunday, October 30th update on the Ukraine war, the UK Ministry of Defense said the Wagner Group appears to have changed the way it recruits soldiers. Russia slams US response to terrorist strike on Black Sea Fleet. Russian official has criticized the US over its response to what it called a terrorist attack on its Black Sea Fleet. Russian ambassador to the US Anatoly Antonov spoke after a drone attack at the Black Sea port in Sevastopol in annexed Crimea on Saturday. Ukraine has not claimed responsibility for the attack but US President Joe Biden criticized Moscow's subsequent decision to halt the arrangement that allows grain to be transported from Ukraine. Called it purely outrageous and saying it would increase starvation. Russia said it would stop shipments of grain from leaving Ukraine, one of the world's largest producers. The termination of the UN brokered. Deal is set to lead to a deepening food crisis across the globe.
More explosions rock Kiev, Ukraine on high alert. Russia launched a barrage of strikes across Ukraine, including in the capital Kiev, targeting energy infrastructure and water supplies, authorities said. Multiple blasts were heard across the country on Monday morning, with blasts reported in the suburbs of Kiev, Dnipro, Zaporizhia, Kiroverhead and other regions. Air alerts were declared in all regions of Ukraine except Crimea, which Russia illegally annexed from Ukraine in 2014. At the time of writing, the alerts remain in place for eastern Ukraine and Kiev.